and I can't remember, but half of Japan is contaminated. I'm going there next week. There's a huge, there's a very big press censorship on what's happening in Japan with Fukushima. All your reactors must be shut down. No more radioactive waste must be made because over generations it will produce epidemics of cancer, leukemia and genetic disease and proliferation of nuclear weapons. And three of the weapons in the world now, America and Russia own 97 per cent and they still target each other as they did in the Cold War with thousands of hydrogen bombs ready to go with the press of the button by Putin or Obama in a three minute decision time. Nobody talks about that. Why? The fate of the earth rests upon this. We can abolish nuclear weapons. Obama wants to. The Russians want to. Mm -hmm. But the Pentagon does not. Does he have the guts to take on the Pentagon, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, et al? Will he close down the reactors because he's taking money from Exelon, who builds reactors? And will he have the guts to take on the oil companies and the coal companies and save the planet from global warming? I, Helen Caldicott, I just want to say that all the networks or most of the networks are calling um, this race now for Obama. And he has just tweeted out, or his people have, um, this happened because of you. Um, yes. Uh, CBS News reporting uh, that uh, uh, President Obama has been re-elected. Fox News is calling the race for Obama. Um, Talk more about the implications of this case. We're going to Washington, D.C. to speak with Stephen Cohn, the attorney for the FDA whistleblowers and executive director of the National Whistleblower Center, who has brought suit against the government. Stephen Cohn, welcome to Democracy Now! Can you first explain what happened, how you found out this extensive monitoring was taking place, and who exactly you represent? Okay, well, I'm representing the seven FDA doctors and scientists who blew the whistle on serious health and safety violations on medical devices being approved by the FDA. One CT colonoscopy device that they exposed made it onto the market six to eight hundred times the radiation dosage of similar devices that are more effective. I mean, you're talking about a lot of political pressure, a lot of financial pressure uh, that's just totally outrageous in, in the medical and FDA context. And the corporation that owned these devices? Major corporations, this particular device and similar devices, uh, General Electric. 